Have you ever had an idea, a really good idea that you knew would be a great business? Well, that's how eTail started, with an elevator pitch. And now that company has grown to employ more than 150 people. And it started with a single step. Nerf guns and water noodles aside, you can feel the energy at eTails in Spokane. And they looked at me and said, no, Tom, we're going to start this company. eTails co-founder Tom Simpson says that's how it all started. He used an elevator pitch in his classroom. Describe the company and hopefully by the top of uh, or the end of the elevator ride, they've sold them. Two students ran with the pitch and wrote a business plan. eTails was born. It's a company that connects suppliers to their buyers on places like Amazon, Jet, and Walmart.com. I'm providing an opportunity for our suppliers to maximize their revenues and optimize their margins on those marketplaces. But, says Simpson, eTails probably wouldn't have been started if those two students hadn't entered their plan into a local entrepreneur competition. Great way to tie local resources uh, with those kids and the ideas that they have. Randy Kemble, the administrator for the Northwest Entrepreneur Competition, says there's been a big interest in this year's competition. Friday deadline is just to say I'm interested in competing. Um, and then there are some other um, key dates along the way. There's three categories to enter. High school, emerging technology, and small business. The prize, cold hard cash, and the chance to connect with local resources. It's just a wonderful time in life to pursue something entrepreneurial because there is no downside. And don't forget, the deadline to say that you're interested is February 12th. Got to get it together. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Aaron Luna, KXLY4 News.